you know the signs of a heart attack, but I was in denial. About three or four in the morning, I woke Susan up and I said, hey, there's something wrong here. I, I really need to go to the hospital. And then that's when everything started happening. You know, uh, the doctors here in town are very good, the heart failure doctors, and they recognized right away that, uh, that I was not going to be able to uh, get well on myself. My heart wasn't going to heal by itself. They said to me, you need a heart transplant. And I've always been a donor all my life. And to hear that you need a transplant is scary. And, uh, and I just, you know, I, I just couldn't believe it. We were planning on trying to be on as many transplants list as possible to increase my odds. Um, but after meeting with the transplant team and Dr. Feller, I was so much at peace. Being scared and, and worried and concerned, she just put me at ease. I mean, it's just, I walked out of that appointment and I just. He said, Susan, cancel the other appointments. <laughs> we're staying right here. And the next day we were supposed to go to another hospital to look and, and she said, I said, hey, cancel it. We're, we're not going anywhere else. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen here. He was officially listed um, the middle of February, and his transplant was March 14th. So he was extremely fortunate um, that, to get a heart that quickly. It was just an incredible gift that we can't imagine. Um, you can't imagine how grateful we are. You know, I could see the progress. I could see the, the end result. And I'd think back and I'd say, wow, you know, I came through a tremendous operation. It, it, it is amazing. Um, and I'm going to heal. We've been very blessed and very uh, fortunate. I contributed all to the, the transplant team. I mean, they're the ones that looked at me and said, you can do it. Checked me out and said I could do it. Uh, they had the original confidence in me. Uh, even probably before I had confidence, but their, their confidence rubbed off on me real quickly. You know, everybody when they grow up, they have a bucket list of things they want to do. And I've achieved a lot of my bucket list before the heart transplant. Well, now with the, the transplant, I feel my bucket is empty and I have a, I feel my bucket is full of things that I need to do again. And I need to get back to running to a reasonable spot. I, wanted to do the 5K. I wanted to get that passed and say, hey, I can do it. Um, and I did. And, and that was the, a rewarding feeling coming across the finish line, knowing that I just pushed my body. Number two in the bucket list is uh, getting back to playing golf. Uh, you know, I don't want to be known as a person that had a heart attack or a person that had a heart transplant. I just want to be the person that got past that, uh, you know. And, I made the most of your life afterwards. Yeah, I made the most of my life afterwards and, uh, and enjoyed my grandkids.